Imagine if one day you looked up into the night sky and saw Mars or Saturn where the moon was supposed to be. That would sure turn our Earth into an alien world. And not just because of the new view. How would replacing the moon change the Earth's orbit? What planet could we safely replace our moon with? And what planet would be the most disastrous? This is What If, and here's what would happen if another planet replaced our moon. We can thank the moon for predictable weather, ocean currents, and the circulation of important nutrients. The moon also helps stabilize the Earth's tilt. Take away the moon and the Earth would go wobbling all over the place and it would cause what I can only describe as climate change on steroids. But we wouldn't just let the moon take a day off. We would find it a replacement from another part of our solar system. So, what would happen if we swapped our moon with a planet that is 41 times its size? Before we get to that dramatic part, let's talk about Pluto. Pluto wouldn't look much different than our current moon. It would be smaller though, and this wouldn't be good for Earth. That's because Pluto's gravitational pull would be weaker than that of the moon. Earth would begin wobbling all over the place, and it would result in dramatic climate change. All sorts of natural disasters ruining your day. The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for our daily ocean tides. Because Pluto is smaller than our moon, our ocean tides would become weaker. This would devastate important ecosystems. I know, all this sounds stressful, but you know what could help ease the stress? Our friends and sponsors of this episode, Caliper CBD. They've got a better way to consume CBD. Did you know that Caliper's powder was found to deliver CBD 30 times faster than CBD oil in the first 30 minutes? That means you don't have to wait for two hours for your CBD oil to fully absorb. With Caliper CBD, you can feel calm and less sore in just 10 minutes. And Caliper CBD is completely tasteless. You can mix it with your morning coffee. It's THC free, so it's totally safe to take before work. Add some to your protein shake when you work out to make you less sore. Hey, we know what if can be a little stressful to watch sometimes, so you might like to try some. Right now, you can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days and get 20% off your first order. Just go to trycaliper.com slash what if and use the promo code what if. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's trycaliper.com slash what if. Don't forget the promo code what if for 20% off your first order. Okay, where were we? Ah, Pluto covering for the moon. Well, how about a planet that is slightly larger than our moon? Mercury would look exactly like our moon with its dark gray surface and asteroid craters. And it's only one and a half times the size, so its impact on our tidal systems and climate wouldn't be as disastrous. Out of all the planets in our solar system, Mercury would be the safest one to replace our moon. But can't say that about Mars. Having the red planet in our night sky would be quite a sight. All the iron oxide on its surface would glow red. No more white moonlight shining through your window at night. Instead, everything would be bathed in an eerie red. <sighs> Mars's stronger gravitational pull would make tsunamis smaller but it would make normal waves massive. And because Mars would create stronger tidal forces, Earth's rotation would slow down. The days on Earth would become longer. I hope we'd still keep a 40-hour work week because a 16-hour work day doesn't sound that great. 
Moving on. With Venus in our night sky, we might never experience darkness. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system. It would reflect 60% more light than the moon. And because it's three and a half times the size of the moon, it would force the Earth into a binary system. Earth and Venus would rotate each other. Huh, it would be beautiful and disastrous. Simulations of a binary system usually end up with planets colliding or merging. Neptune and Uranus are both ice giants and are similar in size. A huge portion of our sky would be taken up with a blue-green planet. Only Uranus would also stink horribly. No wonder this fart-smelling planet got such a name. Since both Uranus and Neptune are 14 to 15 times the size of the Moon, their impact on Earth's rotation and tidal systems would be drastic. Beach houses would have to be built up on cliffs, far enough away from the reach of enormous waves. Now, seeing Saturn up in the night sky has to be my favorite. Its pale yellow color and ring system would be stunning, but there would be some complications. Because Saturn is so large, the Earth would quickly become its moon. And if Earth orbited around Saturn, it simply wouldn't be the Earth as we know today. Finally, moving on to the big guy, Jupiter. At 41 times the size of the Moon, you wouldn't even be able to see the north and south poles of the gas giant. Similar to the deal with Saturn, Earth would become Jupiter's moon. Only it would get worse. Because Jupiter is so massive, the side of the Earth that's closest to Jupiter would experience a stronger gravitational pull than the opposite side. This would distort the shape of the Earth. All this pulling apart would create frequent volcanic eruptions and violent earthquakes. Jupiter's gravitational pull would tear the Earth apart. So enjoy the view while it lasts. This is not how I pictured my day. Remind me of that time we made Earth collide with Uranus. Oh, that was a stinky story. But we'll save that for another What If.